It's me, Mackenzie Marie, your neighborhood carrot, and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Let's be honest, do I not look like a pumpkin or a carrot today? Wait, wait, like what's going on here? Today I'm feeling artsy, I wanna do something craftsy. My friends have been buying these designer shoes. They're basically Air Force Ones that people customize or like paint cool things on them. Like you've probably seen the butterfly ones or like they have Pokemon ones. They even have like a Hot Cheetos one, the Billie Eilish one. Like these shoes are like going so viral right now and it costs like 200 freaking dollars for a pair of these shoes. Mind you, all of my friends have a pair of these shoes. And like, I, I, I do wanna get a pair of these shoes. But, everyone's looks the same. And I wanted to make my own customized pair of Air Force Ones. You're lying if you say that these shoes are not cool. Okay, they're fantastic looking, they're beautiful, and I need a pair of them. If you guys like this video and you wanna see me actually make those butterfly Air Force Ones, like I know how to do that and I can show you guys exactly how they do it, they're ripping people off. I'm just gonna say it. They're flat out ripping people off. So if you guys wanna see me make those, thumbs this video up. I have an entire table of paint sitting right here on my uh, table. It's a, 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 it's, I got a bunch of paints. I got some Air Force Ones. But the part I am most excited about is I got a bunch of these little crystal diamonds to bling out my Air Force Ones, okay? All of the basic bitches, you can leave the chat now because she's here. Extra Fantastic is here, okay? And she's here to stay. Say what you want, bitch. <laughs> like, there's nothing about me that's basic, so obviously we gotta deck them out with some rhinestones. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. Also, I just wanna point out that my body is peeling right now, so if you see pieces of my skin just fall off of me in the middle of the video, it's because I'm sunburned and I'm peeling. And I hurt, I'm hurting, okay? I've never owned a pair of Air Force Ones in my life, so if I mess these up today, I'm gonna be really, really sad. Also, I don't know how to open a box. <laughs> Can you tell? I need a strong man to help me open this box. No, I don't. I'm an independent woman. I can do anything I want on my own. Come for me. Daddy's I need one. Call me. Or a or father? What am I saying? <laughs> if you have an attractive dad, tell him to call me. Did I even sing that right? Look at how crispy these are. There's no denying that. This is a beautiful shoe. I really hope I don't mess this up today. We love that. I'm gonna recycle this. Why did I sniff it? That was weird. <laughs> Why did I sniff that too? New shoes. Weird. I'm painting my Air Force Ones. <gasps> I've never actually watched any of these videos of people painting their Air Force Ones, but I have a bunch of acrylic paint, and I've Googled that you can use acrylic paint on your shoes, so I should be safe. I'm just gonna say this right now, this is not a DIY tutorial. This is not how you properly paint Air Force Ones. I don't know how to do that. I'm just throwing paint on my shoes and hoping for the best. <laughs> like everything in my life, I have no idea what I'm doing all the time. Subscribe, <laughs> welcome to my channel. I went on Pinterest and I found some pictures of some shoes that I really like, people painting Air Force Ones. We got this one, we got this one. I was thinking maybe flames, maybe something dripping. I really like this one right here. I think it looks simple, it's cute, it's got a lot of colors on it, it also looks fun. And I think I can actually achieve this design and not completely mess up my shoes. I'm not gonna be using tape on these shoes whatsoever. I'm literally going to freehand what I want to paint and then go off of that. So hope for the best, prepare for the worst, whatever happens, happens. Today let's make something magical. Is this starting to look ugly? Like, I can't tell. Like, this is kind of hard. This is like, this takes a lot of work. It might look like poo poo to you, but I'm not done yet. This is where I'm at so far. It's really rough. This is just the rough sketch. This is not exactly what it's gonna look like when it's done. Obviously, I have to put so much paint on it. I don't think they completely match. They 100% do not match whatsoever, but that's fine. They are sisters 
not twins. Now it's time to paint them. This is the exciting part because this is where I can ruin everything that I just spent my time on. I have a piece of cardboard right here. I'm going to be mixing together some colors. For sure, I'm gonna be using this neon green color right here. She is bright. She's happening. Oh my God, this paint is very old. Maybe we're not using her. Oh my God, what is wrong with this paint? Oh my God. Is that the paint? What is wrong with my paint? Oh my gosh. This is disgusting. Oh no. Oh, actually, towards the bottom of it, it's good. We're good. I can use this, okay? This is nice. I'm living for these two colors right here. I got these acrylic little paints. I'm gonna mix some colors together and try to come up with a good teal color. Oh, 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 that is liquidy. All of my paints are like disgusting. I've tested out a bunch of colors right here to find the exact colors that I want to be putting on my shoes. I painted them in order that I want them to go on the shoes. So this is what I'm gonna do, the green, the teal, the dark teal. Let's go. <laughs> ooh, ooh. This is the first drug, I'm so scared. Oh, ah, I'm painting my shoe. I'm painting my shoe. I'm literally painting my shoe right now. Ooh, fun, frisky, naughty, need I say? <laughs> oh my gosh, I feel like this is gonna need a couple layers of paint. Wow, uh, she is looking good so far. This is actually really easy. The next color I'm gonna use is this really pretty minty teal color. The technique to doing this is putting the paint really, really thin and doing a couple coats of it. Ooh, I like the way this looks. Second color, first coat. I love how I'm just using like random pieces of cardboard to do this. <laughs> like, how ratchet. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's go in. Next color. I'm gonna start up here. Ooh, this one's dark. Good. Uh, okay. Someone's calling me. Can't you see? I'm trying to focus. Hang up right now. I'm not dealing with it. <gasps> Can't you see? I'm trying to paint my Air Force Ones and I'm messing up. I messed it up! <laughs> no! <gasps> I hate you. It's fine, she's gonna be okay. Why does this look so good? These colors together, perfect. That looks so good. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm doing this. Wow, <laughs> I am an artist. She said details, they're important. Ooh, yes, yes. <gasps> look at that, wow. I'm really flattering myself right now. I'm blowing myself away. I don't typically paint, but when I do, I pop off. I'm just gonna say so myself. It is okay to hype yourself up every now and then. Don't hate on a woman who knows what she's doing with herself, okay? Because if you can't handle it, you can go take your insecurities somewhere else, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. Okay. I really do be thriving out here, though. Wow. Who knew? Wow. Call me Picasso. Call me Picasso. I'm an artist. I'm an artist! Tell me one thing I can't do. Try to tell me one thing I cannot do. Because you're wrong. This is what the shoe looks like with two coats of paint on it, but I'm gonna let it dry for now. I'm gonna sleep on it, and then I'm gonna figure out what I wanna do with it tomorrow. I do know that right here where this Nike logo is, I'm going to use all of these crystals, and I'm going to glue them all over that. So yeah, here's what the shoes look like so far, and I will see you guys tomorrow when I am finishing them up. It is the next day. The paint is dried. I'm ready to start the next process of this. Um, let me tell you, this has been a tedious, tedious thing to do. I did not know it was going to take me so long to do this shoe. How many hours am I going to have put in making these shoes? Eight hours is what it was going to take me to make both of these shoes just to do the design and everything. So let's just get right into it, you know? No time to waste. Some of you are not going to be okay with what I'm about to tell you right now, but I am going to be using a Sharpie to finish off these shoes. I looked this up on the internet, it said it was completely fine to use Sharpies on Air Force One, so that's what I'm gonna do right now. I just start outlining the design of the drips like this. Look at how much better it looks. You can't deny that looks so much better with the outline. If you try this out at home, like let me know. Like, what did you do? Send me your designs. A tag me in them on Instagram. I would love to see your DIY Air Force Ones or whatever shoes you decide to design. Boom! Look at that! We're just getting started. That's just the beginning. We're, we still got stuff to do. Uh -huh.
<gasps> I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed. Oh my god, what else should I add? I have a pack of crystals, I got these off of Amazon. They're not Swarovski or anything crazy like that. Because the place I get my Swarovski crystals is closed right now due to COVID. So I'm making do with what I have. Whenever I apply crystals to stuff, I use E6000 glue. What I do to apply the crystals is I get a paintbrush like this, the back of a paintbrush. I get the back of a paintbrush like this. I get some clay, like some actual, like I think it's like a dollar at Michael's. Looks like this. Hey, my name's Mackenzie. I'm gonna show you how I wrap at your DIY things. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> so I stick it to this like this. I make a little ball on it and this is what I pick up the crystals with. So it like sticks to it. I stick it onto the things. It's so easy. If I put on crystals and I'm not using something like this, then I'm gonna have a problem. It's gonna take me like 20 years. This literally makes it like half the time. Grab shit hack be like. I'm just gonna pour a bunch of crystals on my desk that I'm working with. And here is what this shoe looks like completely finished. I think it turned out absolutely awesome. I think these shoes turned out absolutely awesome without a doubt probably my favorite shoes right now like dude, I'm obsessed they're so sparkly they're so shiny like the design came out so cool I was doubting myself for a second there but I'm absolutely in love with these you guys let me know how you think they came out in the comment section below would you wear these shoes or would you do these to your Air Force ones let me know I want to know in the comment section below a little bit of acrylic paint some sharpies and some literally $10 gems that I got off of Amazon Boom! Turn your shoes out. If you have designed your own Air Force Ones at home, send me them to my Instagram at Mackenzie Marie. I hope you guys love these shoes and I hope you guys like this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Smash that subscribe button down below. Click the bell button. Turn on your post notifications so you can be notified the next time I upload a new YouTube video because I want you to be here first. And if you want to, you can follow me over on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, or Twitch at Mackenzie Marie because when I'm not over here, I'm definitely over there and you should be too. I love you guys so freaking much and I will see you here in my next video. Toodles!